Certain aspects of this program may be unsuitable for young or sensitive viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Mm. A documentary. Oh, really? You want to start with that? Y- yeah. You cause... Got to the end or you want to go... No, trend? I mean, like, if this is trending. This is, like, yeah. This has been trending for quite some time. Because remember, when did I share it? Where it was like they were just going through the trailers. It was quite some time ago. Okay, all right, let's let's do it. Um, mm. This 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 part of the uh, pod has such scenes. I'm trying to look at the discretion. Yo, listener discretion is advised. <laughs> yes, listener discretion is advised. I'm a watcher. I'm a watcher. Yeah. Now, can we like do like a a, a, a pre-story, like a backtrack? Yes. Oh, for sure. One day, me, Nerzi, and Del Pesh were sitting. <laughs> it was just an old day of us setting up the pod, setting up our topics. Right. And we were talking about the Super Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. And we yes, talked about yeah. how Nickelodeon basically took over the Super Bowl mm-hmm. at one point. Funny that they didn't show like all their, you know, adult acts like back in the day but you know they had spongebob they had dora and all that stuff and mm-hmm. and and bro, what and then we, we 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 went through our conspiracy thing like you know sometimes when you be talking and sometimes you you just remember what like what nickelodeon meant in latin is it latin and yeah in latin yeah. yeah it's latin and if you drop the n yeah. And then you hear the song, and I'm like, they weren't singing the end at mm-hmm. first. Like, they didn't sing the end. Right. And the chant, and then the random, like, we just talked about all the random subliminals Nickelodeon would do. Right, right. That we could see as adults, though. Right. I gotta play that the episode back. Part. I gotta play the episode back, because that, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I gotta play the episode back. Some of the stuff we spoke about wasn't on the episode. Like, we were oh, just there. Yeah. It was after, okay. It was after. Yeah, oh, like because right. we were searching. I remember. Right, right, Sorry, right. what were you saying? No, just saying we were searching. Like a lot of the things that we were looking at afterwards, it was discussion after the pod, basically. Um, <laughs> where it was like we were looking for it, and then like some of the things and just the information, the, the little documentaries that were available. Because I think that what we were looking at was more so primarily to Disney, not Nickelodeon. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which but, is. That's, that's a, another. That's another not minefield. Yeah. Right. But the thing about it, we opened to Nickelodeon because of the Super Bowl. Right. right. And then I think when we, it was one of those things that we opened one part, and then you found about like the SpongeBob episode yeah. where it just like backfired, and then this random subliminal face popped up on the show, yeah, on the screen, and all these different Nickelodeon things. They were like, huh. And then. At one point, we kind of sit there and figure out, like, what was Nickelodeon and what was not Nickelodeon. I remember mm-hmm. we were sitting there, like, we didn't really know. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, the trailer for Quiet on the Set pops up. Mm-hmm. Yes. When you guys saw the trailer, what was your what was your guys' thoughts when, I, when you saw the trailer? Nah, uh, I didn't, nah, I didn't see it yet. I just... I seen like the the like I seen like the thumbnail mm. of uh, Drake especially. Mm. Uh, Drake, uh, his last name is Drake. Bell. Drake Bell, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just a screenshot of it, so I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and the title of the what, it's a documentary, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I, I didn't see the trailer yet though. Um, for me, I kind of felt like it was a tell-all. Like, mm. essentially, there's a lot of things that happen with a lot of child actors and. Um, just child celebrities and everything like that, that it was like, maybe we're going to get an inside view as to what was life for them at that time. That was really it. I did not think it was going to go the route that it did. Oh. But that was really it. I really was still looking at it from a very naive place. You know what it was for me? I kind of was like, when I saw the trailer... I kind of was like, I did not know much about, like, Drake and Josh. Because mm. I never watched it at that time. But I knew about Amanda Bynes. Yes. I knew about, like, yeah. um, Giovanni Samuels. Mm-hmm. That was, like, the black girl was my crush for the longest time, when I tell you. That mm-hmm. woman that woman was a crush. And the black guy from 
all that. Right. Because I remember, so I remember watching this, and I'm like, I remember these faces. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I remember these faces, but I never, I was never into like the Drake and Josh time because around that time I didn't really have like cable. Mm. Based off what I remember, but like all that, the Amanda show. Mm. I don't think I had young. I I watched Young Amanda. I never had it at that time. I think it was like the the like teenage sort of. Mm-hmm. Right. Because around the time was Amanda show. Mm-hmm. Even Stevens was a thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Show. Yeah. Which you don't. Okay. Regarding Shia LaBeouf too. <laughs> even he kind of went mm-hmm. a little, little kind of. <laughs> yeah. Different. He kind of it, it was it was boy meets world time mm-hmm. around them time there. That was on the I mean? we, for okay for us uh, Canadians. That was on the Family Channel, I think, right? Family Channel, yeah. No, why? I think why had boys meets worlds too at one point, no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, it, it did. did. Yeah, it did, it did. Yeah. But I remember the Family Channel. <sighs> Woo. Yeah, boy meets world wasn't my show. I'll say that it wasn't my show. Tapanga mm. was was was. Was was my crush, but that wasn't my show. <laughs> but um, so it's so crazy because yo, like the first ever, like so now I'm because I watched it out here. I watched first episode. They're talking about like the writers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. When I watched that, basically the female writers weren't getting what they deserved. Mm-hmm. He had them doing some crazy, like this nigga was getting massaged by the woman them. Yeah. Like he was doing some crazy stuff. Like, mm-hmm. um. And this is and early that, in, in his like career. Early, just off early. the off the early, early. Mm-hmm. Imagine now, push someone telling you, okay. You and this other person that you're working with, um, you guys can't, you guys don't know how to make, you guys are not fun, you guys are not hard workers. Okay. And then the next year, you guys develop, you guys produce and did a good job and they said, you know what, you guys are so good, we're going to keep you two, but you guys are going to split your wage together, split your salary. And, and, but wait. Your salary. Yeah. But not, not, not what you're thinking of, like, split your salary in the sense of, like, oh, you're just gonna... No, no, no. The one salary that is meant for one person, you two are going to split it. That's, that's what, that's... A robbery that. That's, so, that's, that's a ro- that's... Right. You're getting a job where you're working, mm-hmm. like, six months, but the rest of the six months you're not getting paid. Yeah. That sounds like what... Some black people are saying, you know, work twice as hard and do, get, I mean, okay. Mm-hmm. So he, uh, um, mm-hmm. what's the term I'm going to use here? Mm-hmm. He, he, black, uh, okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to just behave. <laughs> Let me we just need behave. to stop, we need to stop <laughs> using the, 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 that, 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 that shade. Black male, black bald, black, white, little liar. We need to stop that. Well, th- That's what we wait, need to start changing. Wait, black lies? Whole- <laughs> well, I, th- I thought it was white, I thought it was white lies. No, I, I said white lies. No. I did. I said I did say white no. lies. I said black male, black <laughs> bald. Black bald. Black bald. Black, ba- black male. That's a crazy one. Black Sunday. Black Monday. Mm-hmm. If your sales are good, you're in the black. Mm. You're in the black. Anyways, <coughs> <coughs> that, 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 that that choked me out. Pause. Or sorry, no Diddy. Oh. That, that, that choked me out a little bit. Sorry, no Diddy. Now, um. I can't. <laughs> Now, first of all, that's disrespectful to be like, okay, here's hundred twenty thousand, but now you're only making th- sixty. Sixty. Yep. That's and small. only the female workers were right. offered this. Well, Everyone else got full payment of their wages. Wow. You know what's crazy? You start asking questions, and then they say, "Yo, if you're if you're the one that's asking questions right now, you keep asking questions." You're gonna get fired. Mm-hmm. That's but wow. They still, but it still lets you go regardless. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny? I know a company that did that before. It sounds very familiar. That's why. Oh, oh, oh shoot! I don't know where this is going. That sounds very familiar. Oh. When I think about it, they didn't do that to me, but I did left a company that did that to someone. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. 
Mm. Anyway, sorry. That just rang, yeah. that just rang a bell. Huh. Hmm. I well, now you know it's podcast. illegal. That's so highly <laughs> illegal. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it? It's legal? It is illegal. Huh. You don't say. It's That's... called a wrongful dismissal at that point. Really? Wrongful <laughs> dismissal? Yes, sir. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that colleague that they did that to found out what that meant. Wrongfully, I just learned that today. Anyway, continue. Uh, <laughs> yo, wow. Now, okay, now th- in this part of the story, now mm. you think you think uh, the employee would be like bring this up to HR and be like, mm. what, what's, what's the deal here? No. So essentially, that same employer ended up quitting after they had mentioned that they were not satisfied with their work environment and that they felt that they were being harmed and that all these other things and after they got fired or after they quit um mind you it was it was an ultimatum as to why they quit it wasn't because they actually truly felt like okay i'm done i i want to move on no they were essentially coerced right into this um and with that they ended up suing. They which, followed up and, and filed a, a suit which against you the person, which you against should. the company. But that didn't stop him. That's okay. No, listen, that whole story was crazy because she was telling them like, yeah. "Hey, what you guys are doing is wrong," or whatever. Yeah. And then she, I think they said something to her and made her feel some way, and she went off crying. And they brought her back in the room. She's the only room with all the men. And yes. she starts asking. She starts asking her, "Did she work at a sex hotline before?" Yeah. That's uh, wow. Yeah. No, you told me this. She's like, "No, I didn't." It's like, like you're 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 really playing mind games with the people there. Yep. So a whole lot of gaslighting, a whole lot of like just out of pocket stuff. So essentially, like like I said, she was coerced to right. quit, and um, ended up suing. But the thing is. Yes, she won the suit, but it just coincided that in the time that that suit was happening, he ended up being recognized for the show that she was also a part of and helped with creating and writing. Wow, that's uh, wow. Okay. So there was an Amanda the show. Is it Amanda show? I think it was Amanda show or the other I think one. It was uh, Amanda show. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. literally. The pilot is done. They had contributed to it. It's successful. She's leaving and suing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And I, so at this point, it's like the higher ups in Nickelodeon are just like, well, the numbers are working. The ratings are working. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You got this suit, but <laughs> people eh. are watching. Eh. People are watching. It is what it is. Right. Figure out your personal work stuff. But figure it out. Yo, that's yo cool. yeah, there's that's a cool. part, bro. There's a part. That is crazy. So, so mm-hmm. I think the second episode they started diving into like the shows. Yes, and like so, the different casting and the different seasons of the members who are on the show. Man, you know what broke my that, these episodes? These two, the last two, three, four episodes broke my heart. Crazy. What really? Because you know what it is when you watched it as a kid. You didn't see it. And it didn't click what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And it's not like my parents are sitting there. No one's watching the, like, it's not like your parents are watching the show. It's a family channel. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Slow, you slow, know what I mean? Wait, slow down a second. So, in turn, not, okay. Because parenting, like, whether your parents are working or they're, like, doing something around the house, they're not watching what you're watching. Right. No. Right? So, they don't, yeah, you, they're not going to... You're not gonna catch the the slick stuff happening. Well, you would right. think at the same mm-hmm. time, like you know, your parents are gonna assume, okay, it's the family channel, so therefore the content is going to be pretty wholesome. You, you know, yeah. you would hope. You would. You would. Keyword you use is hope. Right. right. You would hope that it's yeah. wholesome. You'd hope that it's um naive, innocent. You know, um, lacks any type of perversion. Yeah. But that's not that's not what. No. That was completely not the case. Because first they were talking about because like there's a lot so we'll talk about like the, I'm not like okay 
we'll talk about the show itself, just the show part for now, because there's a lot that has to happen. But the show part, these guys are talking about their roles, right? Mm-hmm. Right. The things they did on the show. We're watching this as kids, mm-hmm. like nothing. You know what I mean? But the innuendo, don't like the difference between perception and intent is mm-hmm. crazy mm-hmm. because. Little by little, you find out about these guys and how you know they 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 did all these fetish type sitting. Like for example, or not even racial shit. I but know. I'm sorry, letter. Some racial shit was was actually like I did laugh because I was like, oh my god, I watched this <laughs> and I found that hilarious. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But that's, so, that's the thing. Like, how would you know? Like, okay, prime example, the young boy that you were talking about. Um, there is one role that they didn't actually like, he said, this is what he was known for, but the things that he started talking about that were problematic were not the things that he was known for. So one of the things okay. he was, he's this black kid, he's driving a taxi, but yeah, instead, the Abadeh kids, remember, can you, Abadeh, 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 that was, um, wasn't that, uh, who played him? Yeah, he's in the, in the doc. He's in the dock. I'm trying to figure out who that kid looks Because it's not... Oh, gee, I can't remember what he looks like. Oh, he, you can see he him when like he's going Sammy in the back in the day, but it wasn't Sammy. I'm a day, I'm a... He's but, like a skinny, skinny black kid on the show. I mean, okay. Skinny black kid. The one skinny black kid on the show. Mm-hmm. They had another black kid. They had the, the black kid before. And they had him in a leotard. Yes. Wow, okay. And he had, like, he had this, they called him, like, Mr. Nose. Yes. Black kid, big nose, superhero. Yeah. That's, a black wow. Kid with a big nose superhero. So that's the racial part of it, right? Right. And, then, then, and, and his thing on his shoulders look like dick and balls. That's, wait, wait, what, wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what is, wait, what? Like, the design, so when you the see design, him, the design on his shoulder, the design, like, the design. Yeah. Like, you don't have shoulder cuffs, like, you know how you have the shoulder. Yeah, the sh- shoulder like, pads. Yeah. 80 star. Yes. They look like a, a piece. So it's a you know nose. They're actual, like, noses stuck onto the shoulders of his outfit. As, 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 as as looks, shirt, like, right. Yeah. But the thing is, like yeah, from the angle and where he's standing and how he's standing, you wouldn't know it's a nose. From the way that it's positioned and how it's, like, on him, you would think it was a penis and a like, ball. Wh- whoa, that's, uh... Yes. Wow. And, yes. And, you, and there's a part where he sneezes... And he sneezes in the girl's face, the woman's face. Okay. Why do you look like a cum shot? That's wow. So that's the other thing too. So like, <laughs> yo, just like okay, yo. even though we're saying and and like sharing all these things, yo, it's more like this is where it goes back to intent versus perspective, because right. from the perspective of a child who's looking at this, a kid with a big nose would look funny. It's just funny, right? right? But we're not also, the thing is, we're not recognizing intention-wise now where the racial issues that come in right, with black people with, with noses or broad noses. Right. Um, and then the other part where it's like, okay, this kid, because he has a big nose, okay, the first thing you think is that he's going to have a lot bigger or more mucus. Mucus, yeah. Right? So if he sneezes, it's not going to just be a normal, a chill. It's not going to be like a achoo. It's going to be a big achoo, like, okay? Yeah. Super huge. So when he sneezes, he's going to be not just doing a little bit of split. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of mucus coming out. But it's the way the angles of the camera mm, as to okay. when the actual mucus hits the girl. It would have been one thing if he stood there and it was a wide shot and he said achoo and it like all went on her. And she was like, oh my gosh. Whatever. Right. But it's the fact that the angle of it sucks. was a little bit even higher. She's sucks. a little lower. And the, oh, it's just wow. only a shot of her getting this goo on her face. It was that. And it let it sit there. They let it sit there. Yeah. And they had it linger and dripping off of her. That's, um... So this is where the intention part comes, where it's like, with all those factors, it looks like cum shots. Bro, now, they had another part. Now, before you go to the... Wait, wait, hold on. Before you go to the other part, the Amade kid, who, who... Was it like a stereotype of a... 
A taxi driver. Uh, we're gonna get him. He had some crazy one too. A taxi driver. So he had the taxi driver one, yes. the African taxi driver. Remember that? Right. But it's the taxi fact driver. that when he's saying stuff, he's not actually saying anything. He's just saying abade, abade, abade. Like, but it's making mockery yeah. to the accent to those who are immigrants to those who. Oh, you know. It's, you know. It's, it's so mm. sad because I used to laugh. That was like my one of the funny skits to me. But he was funny. I remember one time that he would talk, but this time that he did talk. Like I remember one episode when the guy got mad in the back of the car and he threw the cell phone. He's like, did you just throw my phone? And he's like, yes. And he's like, I'm going to go get it. And he jumps out the car. The people that are in the back seat because no one's in the car driving it's spun out and they fly out the car. Mm-hmm. And he's on the side of the car running with his car and gets back in the car. For some reason, as a kid, that was funny to me. <laughs> but obviously, it's not possible, it Yeah. The sense and, then, and the sensicalness is not there. <laughs> the and then, wow. They had that one. They had one other skit when he was a Boy Scout, right? His Boy Scout, and because he was a Boy Scout, he was for some reason a Boy Scout selling Girl Scout cookies. Oh yeah. So okay. But they had him look like he's like a drug dealer selling drugs to like the white boys. Right. So he pops up and he's like, yo, I got two for five or whatever, whatever. And the man's like, these girls got screws. Like, like he's, I'm like, oh my God. Wow, that's, that's terrible. And then they had, you know what? We have this new um, idea. You're going to be the first born rapper, mm-hmm. Lil Fetus. Mm-hmm. Lil Fetus, bro. Lil Fetus. Now, so they had him in the, the bodysuit. In the butt? Wait, what? Hold on. They had him him in a suit, like the body suit. But the thing about it, they had him in the body suit. You know what they said? You know what the cast, the people that were working there said? He should be dark like charcoal. He should be, wow. And then he felt bad about it. He was going to start crying, but he said, yo, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So they had him as a little fetus, like he's rapping, but he's like curled up like a fetus. And that's why I remember the yo 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 embryo. I remember this. Wait, I remember seeing this. Wait, wait, hold on. Yes, yo yo yo. Yo, embryo. that's. But the thing is, what made it really work? Like, what made it bad in some people's eyes, and to now, it's like the reason why it was seen as distasteful is because we are watching a naked, unborn child yeah. on TV. Right. That's like, that's essentially what it is. It's like, you're just watching this unborn baby talking. Let's see, yo, what kind of... You know what's here? Yo, that's not even the worst dog This is another one. That's that's some real... Remember that boy? Remember remember Ren and Stimpy? That's like a real-life Ren and Stimpy. Yo. That's so... Let me tell you, this is Ren and Stimpy. But he's Ren and Stimpy, you you know what you're getting into, almost. Mm. That same black man. That man said he's still going through therapy to this day. Yo, listen Mm. to this one that happened to him. Yeah. He, they have, you know how back in the day we had Fear Factor? Mm-hmm. Right. Right? They had one for the kids. You know what they did to that little black boy? What? They smothered him in peanut butter. Mm-hmm. That was their thing. They smothered him in peanut butter and you thought that was it. They said, release the hounds! Mm-hmm. A bunch of dogs. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like a but it's also the placement of where the peanut butter was. Uh, oh, okay. Like, it's all over him. And you can hear him say, yo, I don't, I, I don't want to do this. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, you can hear continue. his, like, his reaction, Jeez. like, yo, this is gross. Now, for, <laughs> hold on, for someone that's, like, typing away or, like, or thinking ahead, what were, were the parents on set? Yes. Yes, but here's the problem. Little by little, obviously the parents, like, well, the black parent I can speak on, because she was like, yo, this is not adding up, you know what I mean? Right. Things are not making sense. But then they were like, yo, yo, your mom, yo, your mom is killing her flow, man. You know what I mean? Right. And then by the time you look, he was fired. Yeah. So essentially, after a few disputes that the mother was bringing up, you know, she... And it's not the first time she was shushed. 
it was the fact that the agent also had shared, um, she understood her displeasure, but said, you have to remember your son's making a check here. That's bam. Mm -hmm. That's it. So either you don't get paid or you do. And if you are going to sit here to get paid, then you need to stop talking. No, wow. So essentially she was pushed, right? Wow. Okay. That's they, had another, they, had, they had kids eating live scorpions, my guy. Mm-hmm. They had one where they had a show called Sugar and Coffee. Sugar and Coffee, okay. And literally, that's all they did. The kid will run to the this, this machine that just mm-hmm. shot out the sugar, like, like sugar and it was keloid in their mouth so like it was a and it was dispenser. like a paste right what do you think that what do you think they're trying to prove there and the thing is when yeah. after a while when when the combination of the sugar was mixed with the coffee it would end up forming this goo yeah and again looked like insulated Right, right, right. Which is, uh, yikes. Yeah. And the thing is, these kids were going back and forth, and then that's what it is. They would zoom in on the kids when their face looked like that. Which, yo, that's, that is, all right. They had, a part, they had a part where the black girl, she was playing like a grandma or whatever, they brought her to the sugar thing and just shot it. Like, I was like, what is this? Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. But I mean, of the time, it was hilarious. Of the time, but... Because, you know, seeing some little person, or, you know, seeing your friends at that time running around drinking coffee. First off, coffee is not for kids. That's, uh... Right off the bat. So if you got coffee... Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't know if I should shout this person out, but... uh, I remember I tried my first cup of cappuccino when I was four Mm. and five. Hey, I don't know. Right? You're wired at that point. You're like, oh yo, my god. That's a, that's, that's a whole different I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be drinking that at that age. I don't know if I'm supposed to be drinking that. Right? And same with sugar. <laughs> the amount of content of sugar at that time, if you got the ability to sit there and eat sugar, ah, the raw form of sugar, obviously at that age, you're just like, oh my gosh, they're in bliss. It's because they get that much sugar. Wow. Like, right. That from that perspective, when you're looking at it from that innocence, it's like, yeah, the show isn't. It's not crazy when you right. look at it from there, right? But the intent, though, Lord. But then, to you, but the. But then, when you see the camera shots, the idea itself is shot innocent. That they use to but it's day. the camera shots that really does the whole. This is an adult spin. That's yeah. that is what does it. Like, they showed this Ariana Grande one that was crazy. Yeah, the like, Ariana crazy, Grande one. That was from bro. iCarly. So then, okay, so it evolved from all of that, because all that had transitions from, like, 1990-something. That's when it started. Right. And then that's when, what's his name? Keen, not Keenan. The one who did, um... Kel. I think so. And, um, who's the other one? They did, um, Things Burger. A good... Yeah, so Keenan, 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 Keenan Kel. Keenan yeah. Kel, yeah. So... Good burger, um, yeah. Right. So, like, those guys were the originals for all that. Yes, They yeah. had a break, and then they had the second group. And this is when Amanda Bynes was on all that. So, she was actually from the second group. Really? I thought, yes. I, I thought Drake, she was from the first. Amanda. Um, there was this kid with the glasses. The the young lady that um, Hunterville was just talking about. Those, yeah. They were in the second season, or the second laps. And there are a few people who had transitioned in between, kids in between, right? Right. But then when they had settled into the second, not the second season per se, but the second casting of, like, prominent kids. Right. It was, like, years later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? So, like, I think, what, all that started in, what, 1993? It had to be, because even, um... Or 1994? That sounds about right. Nineteen ninety four. It depends, cause I think around that time he was still like working with like um Amanda. I think he still was trying to get her on. Like I think or put her on at that time too. Yeah, because by the time Amanda had her show, it was like two thousands. Let me let me see, cause 
but yeah, like it was just like man, that was 94. So 94. 94, yeah. So that was the original cast. And then so the second casting came around 99. This thing had 10 se- 10 seasons? Yes. Around for that long. Wow. So that's what? 94 to 2004. Yeah. So like 1999 is when Amanda came on and Drake and all them guys. Right. Right? Um, so, okay, yeah. So, Keenan and Kel were there. Yes. But they came back. They, they're obviously older. Right. But... And they did revamps yeah. and reboots with them there. Yes. Oh. So, it was, it was... So, in Quiet On Set, honestly, going from the writer, Dan Schneider, and, like, um, the alleged stories of how he treated his staff... And especially the discrepancies between female staff and male staff. Right. That was like your entry in the whole doc. That's, no, yeah. That's, Basically, yeah. Right? Yeah. The second and the third were more so the testimonials the of the kids. Right. Them sharing what was happening on on site and everything. I think the third one was more, I think the third one was a little bit more too about the handy and like all the other, like the associate manager, the 